Hi everyone, my name is Sean, and welcome back to The 101. A new series where we look to define endpoint security one question at a time. As we talked about last episode, the best way to have a meaningful conversation about security, whether it's about threats or solutions, or even our best practices, is to make sure that we have a common vocabulary to work from. And so that's what we're here to do. Last episode, we talked about an emerging attack without a clear definition. Well, this time, we're gonna talk about an emerging solution in a similar situation. Pop up that question. What is next generation antivirus, or NGAV? NGAV is a hot term these days, and there's a lot of technologies out there claiming that title. But with a lot of buzz can come a lot of noise. And so with that in mind, we're actually gonna spend the next two episodes talking about NGAV. But before we begin, I just wanna give a quick shout out to our friends over at the SANS Institute. We're leaning heavily on their evaluator's guide to help us with our question today. And you can get that guide yourself, but after the video. Okay, what is NGAV? NGAV, unlike other antivirus platforms, protects endpoints from the full spectrum of modern cyber attacks while delivering full visibility into all malicious behavior. The first part of this definition highlights exactly why NGAV is so important today. Traditional antivirus that uses signatures is only able to prevent attacks that use known bad software. Even platforms that leverage machine learning and AI are focused on stopping malware. In either case, they're not focused on the full spectrum of attack, which we know includes non-malware attacks. Let's dive a bit deeper and understand exactly how NGAV is supposed to work. According to SANS, NGAV takes a system-centric view of endpoint security, examining every process on every endpoint to algorithmically detect and block the malicious tools, techniques, and procedures, or TTPs, on which attackers rely. Put another way, NGAV focuses on events. Now that includes files, but it also includes processes, applications, and even network connections. Then it looks to see how each of these are related to one another, what we call event streams. This deeper level of analysis allows NGAV to determine if an event stream, and not just a single file, is malicious. And this is the key to stopping the full spectrum of attack. NGAV doesn't care what attackers use to ultimately pull the trigger. It can see that they're doing something bad, and it can act on it. So what are our key takeaways? NGAV is the evolution of traditional antivirus. It uses a fundamentally different approach to stop attacks, and should not be considered an apples to apples comparison to traditional methods. By looking at how events progress from one to the other, NGAV can determine malicious intent. In doing so, it can not only prevent, but also detect the full spectrum of attacks, which includes malware and non-malware attacks. Well, that's our time today. Thanks again to SANS for all of their tireless work. And if you're interested in getting that guide, now's a good time to scroll down and get it. Also, if you have questions about endpoint security, we want to hear about them. You can tweet us at carbonblack underscore inc and use the hashtag the101 or email us at the 101 at carbonblack.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next episode.